particularly for Steve Mace. He uh, needs to put in one of the best legs of the match so far in order to avoid going two sets to nil down. But he has hung in there in, there in this uh, set. At least has given himself the chance. Yeah, it's a very important leg for both players here. Mace knows he can square it up. Started pro promisingly and prodigiously. Prodigiously. Perfectly, in fact. His second one, 80. First only came in the last leg, and he certainly picked things up with purpose. 100. Ovens in his tallup drawing mode. But now. So it might have been more. Readjusting his eye line. Just a fraction off through. 140. He is a steady performer, Dennis Ovens. Yes, Dave. Uh, really does make this leg all that much more interesting now because Mace, what he'd give here for a treble. 100. He got the turn there, there's 40 in it, Mace with the advantage on the score, but Ovens has the darts in his hand, and uh, all to play for here. It's not yet the match decider, but it's almost as good as. 105. Oh, good darts to leave 56 now, Mace, you feel he has got to take out 1-2-1 one, one to stay in the match at one set all. Now then, got to come down. And he wants the bullseye. He was just the width of the wire away in his last attempt. He's having a very, very good look at it. Such a big, important, not to say critical dart here for Stephen May. Oh, he's oh, the other side and wide. Well, he's had two darts at the ball, and on both occasions, he's been the width of the wire away from getting it. Some days it just doesn't go your way now for the set of uns. Two darts, see on it is the one. Wins the set by three legs to two, and Dennis Evans has turned up the heat. Last two legs from Mace, trying to hold on in there, but Evans just edging it to go two up, and now we're into a set that Mace knows there is no way back. He's got to win this one, otherwise he can apply for a job as Santa Claus down South End High Street. Um, yeah, a little unlucky there. Every leg in that uh, particular set went with throw, and uh, that's the comfort zone that I implied regarding Ovens. He won the first set against the throw, so he knew that if he could hold his throw in that set, he'd go two up, and he duly did. Although that one-two-one -one attempt by Mace, genuine effort, treble 17, took his time over the ball. And just the wrong side of the wire. What a different game this would have been had that gone in. Now, very, very much on top. It's another 180 from Dennis Evans. 140. Yes, Evans has really been a ton up boy, hasn't he? He's got uh, 25 ton pluses and. Uh, He's averaged 91, which is very, very steady. Well, that is just my little complimenting him on his consistency. He does something a little bit silly in his own eyes. Mace. Mace needs to treble here. Well, Lovett's average in that second set, Dennis round about 100. As he took his average up from 83 and a half to 91. In order to do that, hold the five legs, he'd have to, ha to have to average round about 100, 101. So it's a good set for him. Got to go for it, really, even though he's virtually blocked out the shot. Yes, he has, I suppose. 60. 60 leaves him 16. Might have gone for treble. 16 to leave double 16. And Mace needs the treble now to leave the double. 
And if Ovens can win this one against the throw, he really will be set up. 80 the shot. Two darts at double ten. Oh, double five. Tense. Oh. Oh. Well, tense it might have been, but uh, ten it was via that double five. And another break of throw. It's only the second break of throw in the match, but they've both gone to ovens. Uh, the first, the very first leg of the match, and that one which sets him now on his way surely to victory. Hold his throw in two of the legs in this set. The two which he's got, this and the next uh, in two legs time, and he's through. Yes, and Mason's proved he is at his most dangerous in these kind of situations. Uh, what is going to Thank you. Well, I think the crowd is getting to him because uh, there is just one section of it that is uh, in party mood, rather perhaps. Well, a little too much. One hundred. Once again, perfect precision with the first dart. Still room in the treble bed, one suspects. Yeah, we're disappointed with that 81. It looked like he was going to at least 140 there, John. Yes. We saw Mark Walsh earlier in the day managed to squeeze through an absolute cracker against Jamie Caven. First match of the day. One hundred. The thing about his game, I felt, was that he was so consistent down the line in the 20 sector. Uh, in the end, it was the difference between himself and his opponent. 42. Now, I haven't had the throw here, and by careless, rather lackadaisical throwing, he's handed the initiative back to his opponent. 97. Needs at least 131 here to leave a shot, Ovens. He's well on the way. Got to come out for treble downstairs. And he hasn't got it. Once again, he'll be disappointed because uh, on both of his last visits, he seemed to be set up for a towering score. Mesh, chance to break back. Yes, leaves him on a nice little three dart finish. Well, technically, he can do it in two, but he wouldn't attempt it in two. Once again, Perfect first start, and then again, just when he seems to have got the foundations built, this world rather comes tumbling down. 104 Mace has a very real chance to hang on in here. Leaves. 48, so Ovens, not for the first time in this match, presented with a Shanghai chance. Needs the treble. Now Tops will take him to 2-0. Oh, that's neat and tidy. It wasn't his best leg, but it was a tremendous finish by Ovens.